Hi guys, so today uh, my computer is not working, um, so I'm going to be doing a quick review on my phone, that's why it looks like really bad, sorry about that, but I am going to be doing my review of Teen Wolf Season 5, Episode 9, and I cannot believe there's only one episode left. I, I'm kind of like disappointed that it was just a short season, just because, you know, we're used to 12 episodes. But, um, it's okay, though. At least we got it. And it's not the last season. So that's exciting. This flipping episode. I can't even, like, what? Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Like, I. Oh, man. Okay. So, there's lots of things. Okay, number one. Theo is just a freaking weasel. And I want him to go away and just leave Scott and his friends alone. Um, Yeah. Because, okay, so he freaking lied to Scott and said that Styles kept, like, punching him in the head and he heard, like, bone splitting. That's not at all what happened. And so for Theo to say that, it's just, like, he's just a weasel. And I freaking hate Theo for that. And then I was just a little confused. Like, he's such a good actor because, like, you know, whenever he said that, yeah, like, I saw my sister die. Like, he's the one who watched her die. He didn't even go help her. Like, he watched her drown. Like, that's, that's messed up. Um, and so, just to see, you know, Theo put that wedge in between Scott and Styles and fabricate the story and not tell the whole story, I think is just, uh, it's so sad. Because it's not what happened. And then, the very last scene, oh my gosh, that just killed me inside because... You know, Styles is like, you know, Styles doesn't know that Scott heard a fabricated story. So in his mind, he's thinking, you know, like, why don't you, why don't you trust me? Like, why are you, like, what do I, what do I need to do? And it was very honest. It was a very honest portrayal, you know, because um, Styles is like, you know, not, not all of us are human. Like, not all of us can just make those quick decisions and heal ourselves. Like, I'm human and I make mistakes. I feel like that's so pivotal because sometimes I feel like Scott kind of forgets that. Just because he is a um, true alpha, and he forgets that, and we we I forget that sometimes. I mean, Styles is the only human left of the group, and so it's just, oh, uh, it's so sad. And I really hope that their friendship just comes back together. I really hope that Theo gets found out for the weasel that he is. And oh my gosh, just he's a freaking weasel, and I need him to go. Um, I, I don't know why he needs more time with the doctors, because what else can he possibly do? I mean, probably a lot worse, but I don't know. I just find that whole thing is so sad. Um, and I know, like, Scott's all about, like, we need to try to help these people. We don't need to kill them. But I feel like it comes to self-defense, though. Like, Donovan was going to kill Styles. Like, there was no way out of, out of that situation at all. Like, he was going to kill Styles. And so, for what happened, it honestly wasn't an accident. Styles didn't mean to do that. He didn't plan on doing that. He just was fighting for his life, basically. And that happened. Um, so, I hope that they come back together. I just hope that um, Styles just still remains part of the pact. Um, one other interesting thing that I liked was I liked, um, you know, Lydia and, um, Parrish trying to come together to figure out, you know, where the nematon is and to find the bodies. And I think that was interesting. One thing that I'm a little disappointed about though, is that I thought we would already find out what he was, what Parrish is. Um, I figured we would find that out like fifth, sixth episode and now it's nine and the season finale is next week. And, I still think he's a phoenix, but I'm not for sure about that. So, I don't know. I, uh, I'm i excited. I'm interested, but I'm, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about it, about him not being revealed yet. But I guess we're saving the best for last season finale. Hopefully. That would be really, that would be even more disappointing if we waited this whole season and we didn't even know, like, what he was. Okay, so the second thing, Hayden and Liam's relationship is so cute. I am just going to be so crushed if she dies like oh my gosh gonna be so crushed because I love Hayden and her and Liam's relationship is so cute and I really like their pairing I thought it was interesting you know how she is um a werewolf hybrid and so you know um Liam is like we can we can give her the bite just like bite her and Scott's like no I'm not gonna do that it's just oh my gosh so many feels so many things are going on right now 
I'm really excited for the season finale. I'm going to be late because I don't have that channel, so that's why I'm watching these episodes super late because of work and stuff. But this episode was amazing, blew me away. Definitely one of the best of the season so far. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful night, guys. Bye.